I did my graduation in 2022 in the GC department at Kite College. In my academic year, I did a final year project on FPGA implementation of high speed ECC process, which is implementation of uh, Kasturuba Optimal method, in which we are using uh, external pipeline method for the speed of the processor. Okay. So, how can you rate yourself for poor job? Sir? Okay. How can you rate yourself for poor job? I think I am an expert in poor job. Okay. So, out of 10, how can you rate yourself? I rate myself 10 as I give the uh, best performance. Okay. So, can you please explain about the differences between vector and uh, array list? Array list is a type of a array which consists of contribute to memory allocation for uh, storing of data from database for, for which uh, data is stored in the relationship which can be stored in the form of uh, Contiguous memory locations, we can uh, easy for iteration. Which okay. is easy for iteration. Okay. Where we tap, when when we go to the tab, sorry, but I, I am uh, unable to recollect that one. Okay. Okay. What is the difference between array list and linked list? Array list and linked list both are uh, similar, but the type of data which are in to store is the main difference. Okay. Which allows duplication and not duplicate the data. Okay. okay. Array list allows the duplication of data. Where in the link list, we don't uh, use the data for duplications. Alright. No, so both are from list uh, specification. Right? Right? Uh, then? Yes. Then both uh, are uh, list, list implementing the interface. Okay. Of so both are from list to handle. Yes. Huh? Array, array list accepting duplicates, where okay. link list are not accepting duplicates. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Sorry, sir. In, uh, okay. Actually, like, Okay. This is a list capability. So list capabilities are in such an order results, duplicate values are also. So if array list implements list, link list implements list. Yes. Then both should have the duplicates. Right? So you are you are the uh, what is that? You are imagining the list link list and array list, but you are saying set type. Set type. So list and set you are answering. Okay. So that, that is the difference. Minus. Okay. So tell me about the uh, final and finally. When we can go for final? When we can go for finally? Final and finally. Final is the non access modifier which is used uh, before the method name and class name. In the, when we write behind the class name, it uh, can't be extended. It okay. is that because it is a final class Very good. and finally method, it can't be overwritten. Okay. Can I use for a variable final keyword? No, sir. No? Okay. We can use it. Final. Yes, we can. Hmm. But, uh, in uh, some cases, uh, we can uh, initialize the finally variable by using constructor also. What is constructor? Constructor is a method which is similar, which is name is the same as the class name. Okay. Which is used for initializing the variables. What is a constructor chaining? Constructor chaining means calling one constructor from another constructor mm -hmm. by using uh, this and super keywords. Mm -hmm. This is used for call the within the class constructor mm -hmm. and super okay. is called for the parent class. Then what is a this and super? This, this soft and the super off. Yes. And this and super, we have four right to them. So, what is this and super? What this is, is the difference? To call the, the constructor the, within the class. No, no, that this off. Okay. We are using this off, whatever you are mentioning in the constructor. Yes. There is a keyword this dot we are calling, right? Yes. So, why we are going to use this keyword? This is used to call yes. when, whenever yes. there is a situation. This as in super as in. Yes, sir. So, sorry, it's asking about uh, this with the data or methods. Yes. Yeah. This we can call when, it, when there is a situation like uh, when the instance variables having the same name and the parameters variables having the same name, there might be the ambiguity which is which variable. Okay. In the situation where we assign the values, we use this dot that variable name. Okay. Super is for using for parent classes acting variable. When okay. we extended uh, parent classes and the style classes by using a different keyword, which is a form of inheritance. Okay. What is the difference between method overloading and overriding? Method overloading and method overriding two types of polymorphism. Method overloading when there is a situation like when you want to use the uh, same method name with different parameters by name of type of uh, parameters and number of parameters in the situation. Method overriding means uh, when you have the same method name in the parent class and the child class. When, there, uh, when we are extending uh, that parent class to child class, when there, there is a situation when uh, we want to use that uh, same method name with different implementation. Okay. In this situation, we are using overriding. Very good. Tell me what is the difference between upcasting and downcasting. Upcasting and downcasting, it is uh, 
use it to show the abstraction when our implementation de details can't be accessed by or seen by any other ax user in the situation we are using upcasting not casting upcasting means uh, when the parent type uh, class uh, reference variable having uh, constructing child class construct i mean uh, using parent type of reference variable for child class for accessing the child parent class using child class methods okay can i access the parent class own methods yes sir child class own methods yes sir very child class own methods no once again thanks thank you let me give you a minute i will give you you are saying that parent class reference so is the child yes sir child class you are creating the object for the parent class with reference to child with reference to child can that means the object is created for the parent yes sir so then i can then i then can i call the methods of parent own we can call the parent method own methods okay and uh, There is a situation like we can't use some methods of uh, child class, which are uh, child. Child and parent and child both are having the same meaning. Both are different. Yes, sir. Can I call? No. There might be ambiguity. I think so. Sorry, sir. I can't recall that in this example. See, if uh, if if you create an object for the parent class with reference to child, yes. Parent class own method simply calls. Yes, sir. Overridden methods of child will be also excluded. Yes, but child own methods cannot be called. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I got a clarity. Yes. So small change here. Tell me thread life cycle. Th yes, when the thread is a small type of small uh, some sort of sequences to be executed within the program for some time of for some time, and uh, it can be that come to execution with the start method, and then the run method, then. Uh, It comes to what? Why this concept of threads, multi-thread? Why? Why do you write multi-threading concept? What is the purpose of it? When you executing a problem, there may be some situation, some sort of instruction should be performed before that, and uh, some more execution in the program. In that situation, we are using threads, which can be executed by stopping the actual program and by executing some sort of uh, instructions for some time, and uh, there might be a chance of. Uh, Multiple threading, multiple threads accessing the same way. How many ways you can create a thread? Two so ways, sir. Okay. By using thread class and the run by implementing runnable interface. Okay. What is runnable? Runnable is an interface which mm -hmm. can be implemented to the class. Then mm -hmm. we creating an object for thread. Which one is best option? Thread class is the best option, I think. Okay. Good. Thanks, sir.